I'm using the language of 1980, the year that I met Steve Wright. I'm speaking to the cosmos and asking, can we rewind tape to when I was last in this chair one week ago, when Steve was still with us? I had spoken to him at length the night before. We were talking about the proposed new BBC radio stations. Steve and I were the only two people mentioned in the press release, so we thought there must be implications for us. But what? He was asking all the logical questions. When does it begin? What will it be called? How will people be paid? And what is it that we are going to be asked to do? I had no more idea than he did. I told him I was due to have lunch with an executive on Tuesday, and I would speak to him about what I learned. But there was no lunch on Tuesday. The executive had to cancel because of a very urgent matter. I sent Steve an email saying that I would not learn anything about our proposed jobs at lunch, but might at the scheduled Zoom meeting of Radio 2 presenters at 4 o'clock. That, too, was canceled. I sent Steve a second email and told him the Zoom was also off. At 4.50 p.m., I was informed by management that Steve had passed away. The news would go live in 10 minutes. The very urgent matter I was sending Steve emails about was that he was gone. I had 10 minutes to get ready for what I knew would be a media onslaught. My husband, Chris, suggested that he film me making a statement for Instagram, which we did. This has now had over one million views. I prepared myself and tuned to Radio 2. Mike Powell read the news at 5 p.m. Sarah Cox gave her reaction, which was both personal and professional. And then it began. A non-stop telephone and email blitz. For 24 hours, I only paused for sleep and meals. Then it did stop. At which point, one of Britain's most loved individuals phoned me and told me how angry he was. I agreed. To quote a great philosopher, I'm so angry I could throw the phone down. Then I realized I'd gone through the first three of the seven stages of grief in one day. Shock, followed by denial, because talking about someone keeps them alive, followed by anger. I can't imagine getting to stage seven, acceptance, because the death of Steve Wright is unacceptable. It has been a cause of national grieving. Steve broadcast to millions of people almost every day for over 40 years. Generations were entertained and amused and uplifted by this man. More human beings have heard the voice of Steve Wright than almost any other broadcaster in world history. He was such a titan that it was easy to take him for granted. He'll always be there, or it can't be that special if he does it every day. It has taken Steve's death to make clear to everyone how special the big show was. Its absence has left a black hole in our national life. No one can fill it because only he could do it. He made it look so easy. <laughs>